Hi kids, welcome back to the Dry Down Lowdown. Now I know, I've been gone a while. I mean, it's probably been like three weeks. And if you remember, when we last met, I told you I was leaving to go to Free Play Florida, a classic arcade and pinball convention in Orlando. And I did just that, and I had a great time. It was really fantastic to go back to my glory days, the 80s. And I even got to meet the biggest villain in video gaming, Billy Mitchell. I hung out with him a bit too. And if you haven't seen King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters, well, it's been around a while. If you haven't seen it, you probably don't care about it. But if you do kind of care about it, and you never heard of it, check out King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters. I think you'll enjoy it. You have to have fun with this doc. It's just a good time. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're not here to talk about video gaming. We're here to talk about fragrances. And I've got a great one for you as the fall starts to wind down. You know, we only got about like a week and a half left, but it doesn't matter because this one, this one will work all winter long as well. Fallen Leaf from Michael Dinsmore's Making Sense. You know, I shot that using the new DJI Osmo 5 and it still looks shaky. I don't know, maybe I got like some kind of like nervous disorder or something. It doesn't matter. Look, there's the logo. This is what you would be treated to, right? But we're not gonna look at that. We're gonna look at what the dry down lowdown was treated to. Would you look at that? The dry down lowdown logo on the bottle. It's like I'm being treated like I'm actually somebody or something. All right, let's get into the notes, and there sure are plenty of them. You know, Dinsmore, you could have just called this fragrance everything in the kitchen sink because that's what it looks like it is. But let's quit wasting time with my whining, and as they say on the show Letter Kenny that was great for the first few seasons and then completely lost its way. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Top notes are ginger, bergamot, orange blossom, pink pepper, Blood orange, cognac, green notes, and cloves. Midzar, black currant, cardamom, cinnamon, Turkish rose, chestnut, oak, kayak wood, tobacco, juniper, and myrrh. Base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, benzoin, cedar, patchouli, ambergris, praline, red cedar, musk, tonka bean, cashmere, and vanilla, patchouli. Musk, benzoin, leather, Peru balsam, and a partridge in a fucking pear tree. So you're probably wondering what all of that smells like. Well, I'm here to tell you. Now, when I first sprayed Fallen Leaf, I was immediately reminded of Azaro's Wanted by Night. And that's not the craziest thing to think because they share a lot of similar notes. So what I did was I sprayed Azaro Wanted by Night on the top of my right hand and I sprayed Fallen Leaf on the top of my left hand. And I wanted to see what happened in the dry down. And the dry down is where it all changed. Azaro Wanted by Night remained a very leathery fragrance, whereas Fallen Leaf was much warmer, spicier. And while I don't mean this to be a comparison video between the two, I'm just trying to give you an idea of what you're kind of gonna experience when you spray Fallen Leaf, except it smells much more sophisticated. It's less harsh, which I wouldn't call Azara Wanted by Night harsh until I smelled the two next to each other. It smells better blended and just more refined, if that makes sense. And so we began by mentioning that the fall is almost over and this is called fallen leaf. So it goes with the fall, right? Wrong. It can be worn all through the winter. This is a fragrance that is made for this time of the year. You want to go out, the cold air is hitting you. You know, maybe you're going to, maybe you lucked out. Maybe you found a woman that's willing to hang out with you. You know, you know how you are, right? But now you're going to smell warm and cozy. And I hate that word, but I'm saying it here. That's what this is gonna give you. And you wanna smell like that, don't you? Of course you do. So I'm gonna link Dinsmore's page, Making Sense, down below in the description. I'm gonna take you directly to the Fallen Leaf page because I'm a friend to you. We've talked about that a million times. Dinsmore, when I ordered Fallen Leaf, also sent me Mr. Miami 
and Mr. Miami Night. And I was going to combine them all at the same time, but you know what I've decided to do? They're summer fragrances, and I'm going to hold off, and I'm going to do my videos for them as we approach the warmer weather, because that's when you're going to be looking for things like that, and that's when I'm going to tell you about them. Now, coming up this week, we're going to review Happy Land Studios' new one, Paisley Dreams, the first female-centric fragrance from the house. However, E.J. Wells has stated that it is unisex. Men can wear this, too. So we're going to put that to the test. And I think I'm going to go live again soon. Maybe you'll come around and you'll watch. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll be like, dude, I don't like your lives. They're stupid. And, you know... You're entitled to your opinion. You could be wrong. So until we meet again, like, subscribe, don't. You know the drill. I don't give a shit. And you could swing by the uh, Instagram page, too, if you want to. I sometimes post pics of my scent of the day. And I post pics of the food I'm eating because I'm a tubby. And then I also post pictures of all the old fashions I drink, which gets pretty repetitious because I just drink old fashions when I go out. But we can be friends there. You know how it works. All right. I'm going to see you next time. And uh, have a good week. <laughs>